Because no matter what, after the money runs out, after you finish smoking the weed, after you finish taking the pills, guess what? Reality is going to come right back. You, it ain't going nowhere. So guess what? So why defile yourself with those things which don't make you sober-minded? You see that? So now, we're going to give you a few things that you're not doing. We're going to show you some things that we're doing that you can start doing and let your light shine. Give me numbers. Chapter 15, verse 38. We're going to build you up and show you that when a man speak about the Bible, he should speak about God. He should have his Bible in his hand, right? He should speak from this Bible. If he ain't speaking from the Bible, he is not a man of God. Don't listen to him. Read what you got. Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. You see that? It says make them fringes on the borders of their garments, right? So look at this. Our forefathers and foremothers, our other brothers and sisters, the Native Americans, they have fringes on the borders of their garments. You see that? This is a law in the Bible. This is how you know that these also are the people of God. You know what I mean? We are so, are commanded by law to keep that, keep the law of fringes. You see that? That's a law. That's something that you've never heard before, right? Right. So now, moving forward, when we see you next time, we're going to see you in fringes. If you believe this word and if you truly follow God. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. You just can't have the little things hanging from the shirt. It's also got to have a ribbon of blue on it. You see that? The ribbon of blue, every one of these men. It could be a, a different color blue, but it's got to be blue. Read. And it shall be unto you for a friend. It shall be unto you for a agreement or connection with your God. Read. That ye may look upon it uh -huh. and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. Which is the key to salvation, which, which changes everything for our lives when we start keeping the commandments of God. Right? When we do what this book say, this is our spiritual father, our heavenly father. This is what he commands of us to do so that he can see, he can look down to heaven and say, that's my son. That's my faithful son. He's being obedient. Right? But when we go against this, guess what? There's damnation for us. Right? Give me Isaiah 42, 22. There's damnation for us after that. When we fall out of order, there's the world and the wickedness of the world is set before you. It's waiting on you to mess up. But when you understand this knowledge, you won't fall, right? Brothers will pick you up and show you how to be strong when you weep. You feel what I'm saying? Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. Read. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. So the other nations take everything from us. They claim everything. Every invention that we made, they take it from us. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they do, they say they do it better. It was somebody else that made that recipe for that fried chicken and then they put their name on it. You know what I'm saying? It was somebody that made that, that, that Jack Daniels, but it was a black person that actually made it, but they put their name on it. You see that? This is a people that's what? Robbed and spoiled. Listen up, sister. We also talking to you. Read. They are all of them stared in holes. So guess what? It's traps to be on the corner selling drugs, right? It's a trap that's they're running around here, you know what I'm saying, and, and helping your brothers and sisters escape reality. Because no matter what, after the money runs out, after you finish smoking the weed, after you finish taking the pills, guess what? Reality is going to come right back. You, it ain't going nowhere, so guess what? So why defile yourself with those things which don't make you sober-minded? You see that? You see that? Read on. And they are hid in prison houses. And what happens when you get caught in the trap? When you hid, you will be putting them in the jail for your mistake. One mistake. One of us, we got one or two grams of weed or something. We get 30 years, right? White man get pulled over. He get caught. With, hey, they, he get off, right? You see this thing. Sis laughing too. Every day. Hey, every day. Y'all see day. this thing. So guess what? We got to come out of the trap. Right? We can't let ourselves fall victim to these things. The only thing that's going to save us in this world, listen, religion is something that was given to us by man. The Bible is not a book of religion. It's a book of commandments. That's how you find your way back to God is by following the commandments. Read on though. Read what you got. They are for a prey. They are for a what? A prey. Listen, they waiting on you. They sitting back hunting your steps. Matter of fact, give me that. Drop that. They sitting back hunting your steps. They waiting on you to mess up. 
They planning and plotting. Okay, I seen. He think he's slick. I seen him put that in his pocket. You for a prey, bro. We all for a prey. Sister, you got a question? The representation of baptism. Uh, drop what you got. I'm going to answer the sister's question, bro. This is going to be at a fine to you too, so don't move. What's your name, sis? Christy. And what was your name one more time? L.A. L.A. Uh, listen to this. Uh, give, me, uh, give me John chapter 1. Watch what John the Baptist said. Read what you got. John chapter 1, verse 25. Read. And they asked him and said unto him, Why baptizest thou then if thou be not that Christ. So they asked him, wait a minute, if you're not Christ, why you baptism? Watch this. Watch what John the Baptist said. Nor Elias, neither that prophet. Uh-huh. John answered them, what say, say? saying, I baptize with water, Uh huh. but there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, uh -huh. whose shoes latch it I am not worthy to unloose. See that? So he was telling us that, guess what? When Christ came and walked the earth, water baptism wouldn't be the way no more. That's something that's being done symbolically, right? But not today. It's not a necessity. Now give me Ephesians chapter 5. I'm going to get straight to it. 5 and 26, right? We're going to get straight to it because it's something that changes us truly. So if I dunk Christy, right? If I dunk Christy in the water, whatever sins you had before I dunk you, do you come up changed? Not at all. You just come up wet, right? There's really no conviction, but the word of God will convict you. Watch what it says. Read what you got. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. Read. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water. With the washing of water. By the word. It's the word of God that changes us, that cleanses us, that, that, that makes us back to righteous. Following the word of God. The instructions of God is what we must find ourselves doing. Because without that, we fall into what? Our own thoughts. We start doing our own way. And guess what? The flesh being in control will have us in what? In the midst of sin. And sin destroys our relationship with God. You see that? Real quick. So, in the Christian church, you grew up in what denomination, sis? I actually grew up in Catholic. You grew up in the Catholic church? So, I see you wearing a dress, though. All praises for that. That's a righteous attire. But there's something missing. I, I brought it out to the brother about numbers. Was you listening? Did you get a chance to hear the law? I'm going to read the law again to the sister real quick because I want to make sure when y'all walk away, y'all got instructions on how to come back to God. That's what we come out here for. We ain't come out here to fight. We ain't come out here to, to be dis, dis combative with our brothers and sisters. We come back to show y'all love according to the scriptures. Correcting and teaching our brothers and sisters is love. Read what you got. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. So now, when y'all look on this sign, this is how we know for a fact that we are the children of Israel, right? When your father is one of these, one of these, one of these nations right here, right? So your father is, you said Judah. What's your father says? Judah. Judah. So that's how we know the children of Israel. The Bible gives the history of what happened to these tribes, right? We're going to read that next. But I want to show you this law of fringes one more time. Read that. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who y'all are, read. And bid them. And that, tell them. That they make them fringes. That they put fringes. In the borders of their garments. So the border of your garments, this would be your dress. The bottom of your dress, right? Righteous attire for a woman is a dress covering her body. Why? So that she can remain modest. If you dress modest, will the men lust after you? Probably will. But guess what? Are you, are the, are you the one that's causing them to sin? No. So now in that law, you're keeping it. In that way, you're blameless. You understand that? Read. Throughout their generations. Uh-huh. Throughout your generations means what? As long as we are making children on this earth, we were supposed to be wearing what? Fringes. To signify that we are the Israelites. But in captivity, we couldn't keep that. What happened to us in slavery, right? We couldn't keep that. So the other nations, they took our name. They called themselves the Jews. They called themselves the Israelites. They moved over into our land, Jerusalem, and they keep it to this day. That's why the land is barren right now, because we not in it. We still got to find who we are. And if this knowledge don't change you, you won't help change the others that are supposed to come in and know who they are as well. If you just walk away today and this be the end of it, you have to understand this is for you to change so you can be a light to those other brothers and sisters that don't know they Israel, that don't understand their history. Read what you got. 
and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So, sis, when you go into Walmart, right, you see the shirts that got the fringes hanging on them. But it's no what? It's no ribbon on it. You see that? That's specific. Our God is specific. He is showing us that we have order and structure, not just to wear something for a fashion statement. This is not a fashion statement. This highlights that we know who God is and that we know who the people of God is and that we're going to represent God on this earth. That's what these are. Read. And it shall be unto you for a friend. So it's an agreement with us and God when we wear these. An agreement with us and God that should not be broken throughout our generations. Read. That ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So when you're walking by the way and sin is around you and you're thinking about letting the, the flesh lead you you see your fringes are a reminder I'm greater than that weed can't take me away from God you understand weed is not gonna let me defile myself defile my temple and destroy what I know that God got for me which is ever everlasting life eternal life you see that read what you got and that ye seek not after your own heart because if you seek after your own heart meaning what the flesh is running the flesh is ruling you now, ain't no spirit of God. In order to be able to keep these laws, you got to have the spirit of God. You got to have the spirit. If you don't have the spirit, guess what? This is going to be nothing to you. Uh, you'll keep walking. You'll keep on going by the way. Uh, your life will keep on being destroyed. You're still, you're thinking to yourself, I, I'm okay. You're not okay. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. This is what happens when the flesh is running the, the body. Read. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. When the flesh is running you, everything you do has no judgment. It has no, no repercussions. But guess what? When the spirit is running you, that's when you get convicted. I shouldn't have did that. That young man that you lay with and you let him defile your body and didn't marry you, I shouldn't have done that. Only after it happens. But when the spirit is running you, guess what? It won't happen before. You see that? It won't happen at all. You will stop it and say, brother, if your intentions ain't to marry me, then we're not going to hook up. The only thing we can be is associates. When I see you walking by the way, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. That's about it. That's how much a woman must value herself. And we as men as well, but I'm speaking to you directly. Because these men want to defile you, and they don't want to marry you, sis. Read it again from the top. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. Uh -huh. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Do we not know and see brothers and sisters that think they know it all out here and don't know nothing about what the Bible says? Don't do nothing that's applied that should be applied in this book. Don't we see that daily? Y'all should be tired of it. I know we tired of it. We tired of seeing it. That's why on this hot day, and we appreciate y'all standing here for the time and duration that y'all are. And I pray y'all can stay here a little longer. We appreciate that. But we're tired of seeing the conditions of our people. I'm tired of walking in the store and seeing sisters on the phone telling the whole conversation what she got going on, cussing and hollering, right, with no kind of respect for anybody else. That sister don't know how to be humble. That shows me that she don't know the power of God. She don't know who she is. So she need to come and learn from the Israelites. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. Read. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Read on. But the end thereof are the ways of death. The end of, the, in the, the end of that person's life when you let yourself think you know it all, the end of that is death. That's why the Bible says it's Proverbs 3. What's that, 3 and 5? Lean not. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Bible gives us the instruction. Guess what? Every answer to every question you ever wanted to know about God and saving yourself is in this book. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart uh -huh. and lean not unto thine own understanding. Put him before everything else because if you do not, then whatever you put before him has become your God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.